Hey guys, good morning. Friday morning. So, I thought about today's topic, you know, I thought about what I would talk about in this episode of our series on Cut English on my way to work. And I came up with an idea. Uh, I love Pinterest, especially uh, for finding interesting messages in English, you know, uh, messages of uh, encouragement, uh, uh, all, all, all sorts of things, really. But anyway, so I, th I thought, I, I, I this morning I woke up, I, I got into my car, and then I thought, okay, let me take a look at Pinterest and see if there's anything uh, that I can find there, you know, like a, an inspiring idea, an, an inspiring message, and so on. And, and I thought about Friday, and I, I thought, okay, it's Friday, so Friday morning, perhaps I could, uh, I don't know, find something that is it's related to a Friday morning uh, mood. But, but I really like, you know, messages of encouragement. And then I thought, okay, in this program, I'm always talking about uh, the language and tips, and I, I'm always reminding people who join this, this program, who starts following us, that this was a program designed, designed to help those who want to improve their fluency. And I think that a lot of people, a lot of people must have started learning the language and must have given up on their journey, you know, because they get to a point, I suppose, they get to a point where, where frustration builds up, you know, because if you, if, you've, if you have experienced too much, too many frustrations, um, it's a natural process, you end up giving, giving up. So I think it might be a good idea, you know, from time to time, uh, for me to post something about this, about not giving up, about, you know, going forward, trying harder, and so on. So anyway, I found this, this message today on Pinterest, and the message goes like this. Um, giving up, giving up on your goal because of a setback is like slashing the other three tires in your car because you got a flat one. So let me repeat that. So, giving up on your goal is like, I'm sorry, giving up on your goal because of a setback is like slashing the other three tires in your car, for example, because you got a flat one. So first, let me explain all the words in, in this message, in this message of encouragement. So the idea is to encourage people not to give up. So let's think about this. So giving up on your goal. What does that mean? So give up is a phrasal verb and it means to abandon, to quit. So you have a goal. So in our case here, the goal is to become fluent in English, to really acquire this language. So that's your goal. And like I said, in the process, a lot of people get frustrated and they end up giving up. So, giving up on your goal, on your objective, because of a setback. So, what is a setback? Well, a setback is the opposite of an advance. Because, you see, when you're uh, working towards a goal, when you're working uh, to achieve something, right? Every progress you make, right, is, is, a, is a positive movement. You, you're advanced, you're growing, and so on. What is a setback? Well, it's exactly the opposite is when you, instead of moving forward, you, you, you step back in a way. So, for instance, what would be a setback for somebody learning the language? Well, I don't know, suppose you are a student who we might say is at a pre-intermediate level and you're looking for a job and uh, speaking, writing, reading in English is a, is a requirement for this job and you go for a job interview. And then there's an interview in English, 
in, in your English at, is at a pre-intermediate level and you don't do so well in the interview. Well, this is a setback, isn't it? Because if you were approved, you would probably, you know, have thought, ah, okay, so I'm doing well, I'm learning, I'm growing, my, 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 my English is advancing. But if I get, if I get disqualified, you know, if I get rejected, it's, it's natural for me to think, ah, okay, I'm not doing well. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, got, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with, with this, with the language. So maybe I should give up. So not being, not getting the job, you know, not being approved in this interview is a setback. Or let's say something lighter. Let's say you, you're learning the language, you're studying, and then you, I don't know, you decide to watch something on TV. You get an episode of a TV series and you understand very little. And then you have the same feeling, you know, the feeling of frustration. It's a setback. Well, then you might feel like giving up. And what this message is suggesting, uh, it's a kind of a, I suppose they're using a metaphor. So think about this. When you get, when you get in your car to go on a trip, on a journey, you know, suppose you're, you're going to drive like uh, 300 miles to get somewhere to visit family or friends or whatever. If you get a flat tire, you know, well, for those of you who don't know this expression, a flat tire. Well, a flat tire is when, like in a car, actually, let me just do so. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the my front camera to show other cars. I look at this car in front of me, this kind of a little Jeep here. See, it's got, four tires on the ground touching the floor so those four black things you know on the ground they're the tires okay so to get a flat tire means that you get a puncture one of those get gets damaged and you lose the air pressure and that's why oh, so you see that the car in front of me so the, the the black thing on the ground touching the floor that's the tire a, 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 a normal car <laughs> most cars have four wheels and the the rubber thing touching the ground is a tire so you could have a, a flat tire which means there's no air in the tire because of a puncture or something so that's a flat tire so the what the metaphor here is so suppose you you start your your journey and then halfway through your journey you have a flat tire so giving up on your goal the the metaphor here is like giving up on your goal is like when you have a flat tire it's like getting a, a knife and slashing you know puncturing damaging cutting the other three Nobody does that, you know, you, you wait until somebody stops to help you or, or you do it yourself, you go there and you, you change the flat tire for a spare one that you have in the trunk of your car and you go on. So I think this is a very interesting message because I think we can really apply this idea. So a flat tire is a setback, you don't expect to get one. You know, you expect to get in your car and drive, drive 300, 300 miles, get to your destination and, and be done with it. But from time to time, people have setbacks. So what do you do? You give up on your, on your journey? You, you give up on your trip? No. You know, you fix the tire and you, and you move forward. So that's my uh, suggestion for, for today. Today is Friday. I thought of uh, posting a, a positive message. So if you're here, you know, listening to this video, to this podcast, because you want to do this, you want to improve your fluency, 
you have to know that from time to time you're going to have setback, setbacks with the language. You know, sometimes we wake up and for whatever reason we, we don't uh, perform well. Maybe it's a memory thing. You, you don't remember vocabulary or, or for some reason you're distracted and you listen to something but you, you can't understand because of the, the, the accent or sometimes because of, I don't know, the quality of the sound. For whatever reason, you just feel that you're not doing well. Well, that's a setback. But you shouldn't give up on learning a language because of that. And then, just to, to wrap it up, you know, just to, to, to close this video, uh, I would like to, to add to it another message that I read today. And it goes like this. A year from now, you're going to be very proud for not giving up. So think about this. If I give up now, in 12 months, I'm going to look back and I'm going to feel uh, disappointed at myself when I realize how much I could have learned in 12 months. How much I could have practiced, uh, how much I could have uh, read, how much I could have uh, practiced, you know, with speaking, with listening. In other words, how much knowledge of the language I could have acquired in 12 months if I had not given up and if I, if I kept trying at least a little bit each day, you know, like half an hour a day, 10 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day so I think that's another excellent message you know you're gonna be very proud of yourself one year from now for not giving up today and this is my and this is my final message to you don't give up keep going because the more you practice the more you learn and the reality is we have to learn to deal with this. There will be setbacks on the way. It's a fact of life. We just have to learn to deal with them. Good morning and good luck with your English. My name is Alfredo and this is Uncut English. See you in our next episode.